we went out for a drive. It was supposed to be my day off. It was supposed to be a social outing. And I should know better by now. After all these years together, I should know that even the most casual outing can turn into work in seconds. Everything was going smooth. We were getting along great. Then out of nowhere, she just started shivering, shuddering. What is it? What's wrong? But she wouldn't answer me. Normally, I could trust her to give me a signal when something was wrong. But that night, the signal never came. No check engine light. Must be nothing. Bad fuel, maybe. I didn't even have time to take the case before the trail went cold. Or so it seemed. Here's what I knew. Her problem was intermittent. They put the heat on her only to take it off again, but boy, when the heat was on, it was really on. And whatever it was, it affected every cylinder. Yeah, the problem was total, but intermittent. I could rule out the spark plug gang and the fuel injector for... They work with more precision than this. And the big guys, compression, timing, ah, they don't get involved in this nickel and dime game. There's only one group I know of that loves to wreak total havoc and then disappear without a trace. The electrical system. It's behind everything, operating invisibly. No one even knows how it works. But if I was going to solve this case, I was going to have to learn. She shivered again. That's no bad fuel. I pulled over. Suddenly, I had a bad feeling about this. What if... I always trust my gut, and my gut was telling me, bulbs burn out. So the conspiracy went deeper than I'd realized. Whoever was putting the heat on her, they wanted to throw me off the scent. They'd not only hurt her, they'd sabotaged her only means of communicating with me. But I had ways of learning what I wanted to know. Just another tool of the trade. Bingo. P0340, the camshaft position sensor. So I had my suspect. I drove back to the shop. It wasn't easy tracking him down. I checked all the usual haunts up near the camshaft, but he was hiding out under the AC compressor. I brought him in for questioning. He came willingly, perhaps too willingly. I interrogated him for minutes, checked resistance, voltage, everything checked out. The sensor was a patsy, a fall guy. That PO340 code was just another wild goose chase. A lesser detective would have thrown in a new sensor and crossed his fingers, but I knew better. These sensors are too simple to go bad. I've never seen a bad camshaft position sensor in my life. It's just two wires, ground and power, and a magnet inside to produce the voltage. Not much to go wrong here. That meant the problem was elsewhere in the electrical system. But where? Suddenly I remembered how readily that cam sensor came out. What if he wasn't bad, he was just poorly connected to the rest of the electrical system. I went back to his hideout. And sure enough, the plastic tang on the connection was busted off. Some ham-fisted mechanic had done this. It would have to be replaced. I was relieved. It seemed I'd found my perpetrator. All I'd have to do now was 
solder a new pigtail connector on, tighten up that plug. Easy. Clean. Case closed. But it's never that clean and easy. Pick up one bad apple and you uncover another. I unwrapped the wiring and discovered something I'd never seen before. I found the two wires leaving the sensor, but I also found a third wire. This one, bare naked as the day it was born. And all of them wrapped in... Tinfoil? What in the hell's going on here? Who's done this? Why? I looked for answers in the wiring diagram. An arcane labyrinth that leads you not to answers, but deeper and deeper towards that hideous monster inside. Ignorance. I was going to have to go to someone else to get answers. Someone who had a lifetime of experience with this crime syndicate known as the electrical system. I had to pay a visit to the specialist. The specialist told me what I wanted to know. That bare naked wire was just a ground. <laughs> As all naked wires have to be. I should have known. And as for the foil, protection, guarding the camshaft position sensor from interference from outside electromagnetism that might screw with the electromagnetic pulse inside the wire. Well, things were beginning to fall into place. The bare wire, the foil, they were innocent. Back at the scene of the crime, I took a closer look around. And I found something. The smoking gun. Or, in this case, the sliced insulation. Right under my eyes, the power wire from the sensor was hurt. Not badly, but badly enough to cause an intermittent problem. That ground wire had been rubbing for over two decades, and finally broken through the insulation to the copper wire inside. That was it. A little exposed wire grounding out, interrupting the camshaft position sensor's signal for just a moment before shifting back to safety. The computer couldn't know how much fuel to give the engine or when without this information from the sensor. Hence the total loss of power. Finally, I'd found my criminal. Of course it couldn't end there. Where else had that bare wire gone to town on the power? Where else was this wire hurt? I had to inspect every inch. That meant more work. Another late night, just me and her. Access to the wiring harness was blocked. I had to pull the intake manifold. Then I stripped the harness of all its livery and followed those camshaft position sensor wires right up to the PCM, power control module, the computer. Not so much as a scratch on those wires, but the time was not wasted. I could sleep well at night knowing I'd been thorough, but not yet. I had wires to solder. Solder, heat shrink, electrical tape, everything back together again, healed and whole. Time for the moment of truth. She sounded good. Only time will tell if she's fixed for good, if she stays steady and never shudders again. And just like that, my job was done. But somehow, I didn't feel finished. Something was unexplained. What had I missed or forgotten? Oh well, I had taken care of that electrical system. Let's just hope that's the last I see of it for a long time.